I don't want to do this. In a lot of ways, this is the last thing I want to do. But this is the first and only thing I want to do also. This is like jumping off a cliff. <laughs> you know, and I just hope that I can get some sort of good feedback, some sort of good feeling, something good out of all this before I finally go splat. <laughs> I can't help but joke. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Hello, my name is Glasses Geek, and this is my shout before I go out. If I can just get this without crying. I was wanting to do videos like this that are important to me and important to my soul. And I swore I was going to do stuff like that. For a long time, I've, uh, I haven't put any of them up on YouTube. In fact, I haven't even filmed them, but I wrote out a bunch of scripts and whatnot making videos that I thought other people would want, doing stuff to literally please the public. I was wanting to do some videos that were really intimate and important to me, and I never had the guts to do them. I've always been the shameful one in my family, the one that they hide, the one that they can't admit exists. We have mental handicap people in my family, people who are very handicapped and they can admit that they exist but I'm the one that they can't admit exists. I'm the one who's really shameful and the core of this is something I'm going to discuss in this video and subsequent others and I'm proud of myself for doing this. I don't care how shameful I am or how shameful this is. I need to do this for my soul. Just to try to get myself to quit crying here, um, I don't know if it'll work. I promised myself I would do this way back there before Robin Williams passed away. <laughs> and then with his passing, I promised myself that I would make, you know, videos of any kind. You know, whether they be videos to please the public or just videos where I discuss stuff that's important to me. And I swore up and down and sideways that I was going to do that. And I never got around to it. I was too terrified. It's like my circle and my world keeps on getting cut smaller and smaller. Um, but then... God, I hope I don't pronounce his name wrong. But then with the passing of one of my heroes, Linkin Park's lead singer, Chester, uh, that really hit hard. And I swore that I was going to make videos then, I, I just finally decided. And at least that is what egged me on and got me to publish my book of poetry that I have out now. It's called My Bests. <laughs> and yeah, I know that's grammatically incorrect and there is no such word as bests. <laughs> but I did that anyway. <laughs> my Bests, a book of poetry. But, uh, at the exact same time, I had a friend who just recently passed away here, a very close soulmate, and uh, I promised them that I would do this, and so I am. I'm glad I am. God, I just hope I can quit crying enough to actually do this. <laughs> I know that when it comes to cameras and stuff, last thing you want to do is uh, cry or, or even laugh at your own jokes because, you know, that prevents you from being able to speak and get the lines out and say what you need to say. I don't have a script for this. 
Um, and who knows if I'm even going to edit it up. But I'm determined to get this out. This is like jumping off a cliff. <laughs> you know, and I just hope that I can get some sort of good feedback, some sort of good feeling, something good out of all this before I finally go splat. <laughs> I can't help but joke. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but this is something that doing these videos is one of the most terrifying things for me. But I'm doing it anyway and I'm glad. And I'm sick and tired of being the shameful one. The one that my family hides and refuses to admit even exists. The one that they won't even admit that they, you know, that I'm related, that they gave birth to, what have you, my mom and whatnot. And I'm terrified to even say it at all, the reason behind it, but this is why. It's because I'm physically ill and I have no diagnosis at all whatsoever. And recent events in my life have shown me how delicate and fleeting life can be. And how horrible it is to pass away from a physical illness. And I decided a long time ago, and I haven't had the guts to do so until now, that if I'm going to pass away, just as everyone does, but if I'm going to be sick like this and pass away from whatever's making me sick, then I want to make these videos before I leave this earth. Just to try to get myself to quit crying, I don't know if this will work. But just as Mork said, <laughs> I'm Mork and Mindy, you know, I don't know how much time I have left on this earth, but at least I know a few people will be a bit happier they were than without me. Something to that effect. Personally, I don't know if I can make anyone happy, because I'm not that kind of a person. I'm a very serious person, a very truthful and straightforward person. In fact, you know, I really have Asperger's, so I don't understand a lot of things. But I hope to be able to tell the truth, or at least my truth, and let the world know that at least let everybody who's been in my shoes, been in a position, been in situations like me, that you're not alone and that I'm out there too. I hope to be able to get other people's calls calling back to me instead of just my own voice re-echoing and reverberating off the atmosphere. So I guess that's about it. I could give a litany of symptoms, which I'm far too embarrassed and ashamed of right now to admit. But just doing this video is the biggest thing in the world and the hardest thing in the world for me to do. But I'm proud of myself and I'm proud that I'm doing it and I'm proud that I'm admitting to it. I am glasses geek and I'm physically ill, and I'm undiagnosed. And if nothing else, what I hope to get out of this is other people commenting and saying that they're undiagnosed too, and to not feel so bad, but most importantly to let me know that I'm not alone. Because right now, I'm exceedingly lonely and very terrified. And I just hope I'm not alone. And I guess that's it.